the process. Everyone has one. It's not just an art thing, it's a person thing. If you think about it, everything we do requires a process. And in the mundane every day, a lot of processes tend to look the same. But with art, the process gets more complicated. Just like there's a hundred different ways to start a project, there's a hundred different ways to mess it all up. And as we all know, messing up is terrible and bad and awful and it makes you unprofessional and... <laughs> messing up is normal. It's good even. And I'm not saying that this is necessarily a hot take, but I think that messing up is a really important and underrated part of the artistic process. I mean, we've all been here. And here. It's trial and error. It's drawing the same line ten times and never getting it right. It's mixing the ugliest color you have ever seen in your life and then having to throw out the entire batch of paint just because it is that bad. For me, it's not washing my paint brushes every night. I know, I know, it's a one-way ticket to the ninth circle of artist hell, but guess what? I still don't do it. It's not always the stuff you see people posting on social media. But at the end of the day, that's what the process is. It's the good stuff, it's the bad stuff, and it's the gross stuff. And as long as it's working for you, it's a good process. So do what you need to do. Tear it up, scribble it out, paint it over, turn on the TV while you work, wipe your paintbrushes on your jeans. It doesn't matter as long as it's working for you. You don't have to trust the process, you just have to trust yourself. 